We must tell the head of state, President William Ruto, the truth. Fearless Nito Boni warns President William Ruto of a controversial bill set to be debated. Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos. Senator Boni has boldly cautioned President William Ruto of a bill that is set to be introduced to the Senate that he believes will give Cabinet Secretary a chance to borrow without audit. Speaking in the Senate, the lawmaker claimed that the bill which will be sent to the House from the National Assembly is set to give ministers a chance to borrow from next five years without being able to track in them. He stated that the bill be created then since clauses be suspended so that the ministers can borrow as they wish. There is a bill I have seen which is coming through the National Assembly. It is trying to shift public debt from being benchmarked on debt shilling to anchoring so that the debt is percentage of the GDP. What is worrying me is that I have seen some clauses which have already been approved that whereas it should be anticipated at 55% and the cabinet secretary can be allowed to borrow not more than 5%. They are saying that for 5 years this clause can be suspended. So if you pass a law to create debt anchor and then you suspend the clause that is supposed to be implemented, it means you are giving the CS a chance to borrow as he wish, the senator said. As President William Ruto works very hard, we must tell him him that there are some of the decisions made by Treasury which we should caution and we must tell him the truth, the senator said. Senator Bonnie firmly told President William Ruto that the bill will make his ministers to borrow after which huge sum of money would not be accounted for after five years, something that he furiously opposed. In other talks, the political supremacy battle continued taking the country by storm and leaders are regrouping to unite ahead of expected bipartisan well, talks. Mount Kenya region politicians have gone back to the drawing board and start thinking about the future of their political career. Jeremiah Kioni, Peter Monia, Inderutu, and Mata Karua held a closed door meeting with the Azimola Amajo team leaders like Willa Odinga missing Razor Alarm on what is boiling. Mount Kenya region is now turning against UDA party and President William Ruto, who has all the reason to worry. According to Jeremiah Kioni, latest remarks he said that anywhere you go in this country, especially Mount Kenya region, Kenyans are saying they are tired by UDA party government. This is bad news to President William Ruto and his minions, Kimani, Chungwa, Inzizi, and other legislators. They have Kioni is referring to some imaginary Kenyans who reside in some unknown planet. The myriads of the challenge facing the country did not start to exist eight months ago and he knows. His view about real Kenyans must be perplexing. Obviously, he doesn't think they count for much. Finally, the NAROC Kenyan party leader Matakaora has met a section of Mount Kenyan region leaders who are uncomfortable after being left out of bipartisan talks. Jeremiah Kioni, Peter Monya, Nderutu and others have merged today to craft a way forward after the open content by the Azimo leader Willa Odinga and his team. The Azimo leadership chose a bipartisan team, but unfortunately, Matakaora and all other Mount Kenyan region leaders were sidelined. Bila has demonstrated strongly that he doesn't want business with Mount Kenya region leaders, and that's why none of them is in the Bible as a talk. What do you think of this matter? Hope you enjoyed the video, and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.